Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we are continuing on with the Be Wise Resize category of videos. In the first video, I talked a lot about the resize tool and sort of the five levels of rescaling from Notehead, Note Rest, uh, Staff System, and Page. And um, the one thing I kind of glossed over a little bit because I wanted to talk about it here is sort of what gets attached to each of those things. Uh, because understanding how other elements attach to these items can be kind of important. Um, so you see I've got this mess of a situation here with lots of different things just to kind of illustrate um, what exactly will get scaled with the things that you are scaling. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to start with the bottom. So we'll start with uh, the note heads first just to show you what's going on. Now the only thing that gets rescaled when you rescale note heads or the only items that get rescaled are accidentals and ledger lines. So if I go into here in this B natural here and resize this note head, you'll see that my natural will get a little bit smaller, but also the ledger line gets a little bit smaller. Nothing else gets smaller. You'd think that maybe articulations would, but um, alas, articulations do not scale, and even augmentation dots don't scale. Both, both of those things are actually attached to the notes. So that's it for note heads. It's just the accidentals and the uh, ledger lines. Uh, as I just started to point out, uh, the accidentals will get um, scaled when you resize the note, as will augmentation dots. And you'll notice that my mezzo forte marking got scaled as well. I'm going to talk about this a little bit more in a second because there's a lot of stuff going on with uh, expressions. Other things don't, like your trill marking here. This is not attached to the note, believe it or not. Neither is the um, uh, hairpins or basically any smart lines don't get attached to the notes um, when you're talking about scaling. The other thing that will scale with notes is triplets. Sometimes, depends on which note you're scaling. So if you try and scale the second note here, you'll see that the triplet bracket does not scale. But if you do it on the first note, then you can get your whole triplet bracket to scale. You'll also notice that the tremolo scaled. Obviously, the tremolo is considered an articulation in finale, so that's why that scaled. One thing that does not scale, you notice the slur does not get scaled. Again, a slur is a smart line, and smart shapes um, uh, do not get scaled uh, at the note level. I mentioned articulations. Another thing that scales at the note level is lyrics. So if I go over here and resize these two notes, you'll see that my lyrics will get a little bit smaller. The chords do not, but the lyrics do. The lyrics will not uh, scale if you scale note heads. Uh, just to prove that here, you can see that. Um, only notes, all right? So that's what's going on there. Uh, and then finally, let's just talk about expressions because that's really the big thing. You see that the mezzo forte did scale when I scaled this note here. Um, if I do this on the first note here, let's do that here. You'll see that the mezzo piano marking scaled, but the allegro did not scale. Now this has to do with how expressions get attached in finale. There are sort of note specific expressions and staff or system connected expressions, I guess you'd call them. Um, this allegro marking is a system text, so that's why it didn't get scaled. You may have noticed that this big text block here did get scaled. That's because I happened to add this as a note attached expression. I probably shouldn't have, but I did. And so that's why you saw that get scaled. Um, but to illustrate this more clearly, here I've got two expressions under the first ending, one called note beat attached expression, another measure attached expression. So if I scale this first note here, you'll see that the very bottom expression here gets scaled, but the top one does not. Um, and again, this has to do with how these are attached. So if I go into the expression tool and click this handle, you'll see a little dotted line and it's sort of anchored at where the note is. The anchor point here for this measure attached expression is actually the left bar line. So this is one way to tell how particular expressions are attached. But getting a little bit more into the weeds on this, let's just go into the expression library to look at these two expressions right here. So here's the note beat attached expression. And if we go to edit this and we go to the positioning, this is where um, the rubber meets the road here. I'm just gonna uncheck this option here just to show you how I have this attached in the category. And what's relevant here is the horizontal alignment. The vertical alignment has nothing to do with this uh, in terms of scaling and everything. There are a bunch of options in this pull down menu and basically it's the first seven options that uh, Finale considers note attached expressions and therefore will scale when you scale the note. So you've got horizontal click position, 
left of all note heads, left of primary note heads, stem, center of primary note heads, center of all note heads, and right of all note heads. Those seven options will um, create essentially a note attached expression and therefore that expression will scale. Anything below that, if you're using left bar line, start of time signature, etc., cetera, um, those will not scale. And in fact, if we go into the second one over here, just to show you what I did with the positioning, you'll see that the horizontal alignment is actually the left bar line, which is not one of the first seven. Therefore, it does not get scaled with the note. Now, expressions have sort of a unique property in that they can't, you can override the scaling property of an individual expression. So if you have one selected like this and press shift return, you can also just shift double click the handle, you'll get this expression assignment dialog box and right in the middle there's an option called scale expression with attached note, which is doing just that. And um, if you uncheck that, this is checked by default, but if you uncheck this and click OK, you'll see that the expression stops scaling with the scaled uh, note here. So uh, this is somewhat unique to expressions. Um, you can't do this with articulations um, or chords or anything like that, um, but you can do this with expressions. And uh, just by unchecking that, you can uh, prevent Finale from um, uh, scaling in this way. So if I actually go back in here and do this, one other thing that you can also do to prevent notes from scaling is you can actually use fixed size fonts. Now this is a whole other topic of conversation and I'm not gonna get into it here because I did a, a great video on this in the text block uh, category. It was video 22-6 and I'm gonna put a link to that video here um, because this is a much longer discussion about how these uh, fixed size text uh, behave uh, when you're talking about scaling at different levels and everything. And it does get a little bit complicated. There's some funky stuff going on. Uh, so I don't want to repeat that entire lesson, but you can definitely go check that out. And I really recommend that you do. Uh, in fact, I'm going to put 22-6 at the end of this series as well, just to kind of um, just to put it there so that it's all together. All right, so that's the stuff that's attached to notes. So the next level up from that is um, stuff that's attached to the staff. And of course, if we click in the staff somewhere outside of a note with the right tool, there's the resize tool, we can resize the staff. So let's go down to 75% here for this system. And you'll see that a lot of other things got rescaled as well. Obviously, everything that's included in the notes and the note heads, the things that attach to those are also scaling. So your articulations will scale or scale again. Remember, this all compounds. Um, but all the other stuff will scale as well, including your uh, smart shapes and smart lines. So your trill markings, your hairpins, uh, your glissando, your slurs, that will all uh, scale as well. And your measure attached expressions are now going to scale. So uh, you can actually see that the this one is still a little bit larger, but they're both smaller than they were before. So that's what's going on. The uh, uh, text expressions will scale, so your DS Alfine will get a little bit smaller, your first and second endings will get a little bit smaller. Usually bar lines and repeat bar lines and stuff like that will also scale, but in some circumstances like this where they actually attach to other staffs that are still at 100%, it's not going to scale this just on this staff because that would look weird. You'd get like a smaller repeat just here, just, it just wouldn't look right. So. If this, if this staff was isolated, then yes, the bar lines themselves would get a little bit thinner, um, but when they're attached like this, they do not. So that's a, a unique little thing that's going on. Obviously, things like the clef, the key, and the time signature will all scale as well. Um, all your system t uh, attached expressions will scale in, a, in addition to your measure attached expressions. Um, also, there's a measure attached text block. If you remember from the text tool videos, you can either attach texts uh, to the page or to the measure. And the measure attached text blocks will indeed scale with the staff. Other things that will scale, the chords will scale now. Uh, you, you saw that they don't scale with the notes, but they will scale with the staff. And uh, what else? Oh, in addition to the measure attached text blocks, measure attached graphics will scale as well. I actually have these two graphics here next to the bassoon part. And um, if I scale the bassoon staff here, <clears throat> you'll see that this one, which is attached to the staff, this one is attached to the page, this one is attached to the staff. You'll see that this one will actually get a little bit smaller, but this one uh, will not because that's attached to the page. So. Uh, measure attached uh, graphics will also scale uh, with the staff as well. 
The next level up in the scaling is the system. So let's just zoom out even further here and we'll click uh, within the system, but between staff so that we can actually resize the staff system. And we'll go to 75% here just for this one. And um, you'll see that all the stuff that's encompassed in the staff and the notes and the note heads, those will also scale as, again as well. Remember this all compounds. Uh, but in addition to that, a few extra things will scale, including the staff names. The staff names will not scale with the staff scaling, but they will scale with the system scaling. Uh, group names as well, if you happen to have, I don't have any of them here, but they will scale with the system as well. And uh, the group brackets, so obviously these brackets on the left will scale a little bit. And also, interestingly, the interstaff spacing will scale. So you notice that uh, you know this originally was uh, the double base was all the way down here. When you scale this to 75%, all of the space between the staffs uh, gets smaller by 75%. If I were just undo that, you'll see what I mean. Now the the uh, double base is all the way down here. So it's this space between the staffs that also. Uh, gets rescaled when you rescale the uh, system. All right, and so that's what's unique to system scaling. Um, so let's talk about page scaling. And basically the only thing that's left is really the text uh, that's attached to the page and the uh, graphics. So let's see what happens when we scale the page here to 75%. You'll notice that all of the text blocks get scaled. Uh, but the graphic didn't get scaled. Um, the graphics also have something similar to what uh, expressions have, um, but actually only page attached uh, graphics do. If I go into the graphics attributes here, um, there's this option at the bottom called fixed percent. Um, this is sort of similar to like the fixed size uh, text block. This is um, what happens with graphics has this unique ability. Um, this is checked by default, but if you uncheck that, then you can see that the graphic will uh, get smaller. You'll also notice that it jumped, and you'll notice that a couple of the text blocks that I had over here originally, let me just undo a couple of things. You'll see that these text blocks right here um, are actually over here until I uh, change the percentage and then they jump over here. There's something that goes on with both uh, page attached graphics and text blocks. The, uh, let me just, sorry here, let's just do this. Uh, these values here in the alignment and positioning, if you have offsets here, and with this particular text block, I have some small offsets here. It's a little bit more notice, noticeable with the graphics here. There's a, there's a really large vertical um, offset here, negative three. This value also gets scaled when you scale the page. That's why when you go from 100% to 75% with this text block, if this, or with this graphic, if this graphic is set to follow the scaling of the page, that's what happens. The offsets get uh, uh, scaled as well. So that's why sometimes you'll have uh, text blocks and graphics jump around uh, when you scale the page. This is another reason why I really recommend against using page scaling to change the size of your music. It's much better to actually change the system size uh, rather than the page size. It's just, it's just better practice to do that. All right, so I think that covers it. I really wanted to get into the weeds here a little bit and kind of show you exactly what's happening with scaling, what other elements get scaled with these sort of five levels of scaling and finale. I think this is important to sort of understand how all of this works. It is a little technical, but I think when you start getting uh, into some advanced stuff with finale uh, or even intermediate stuff, I think I think knowing how this all works is um, will, will go a long way for you. So hopefully this has helped. And uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. Video. Um, I'm going to do one more video in this category and it's going to be dedicated to a couple things that can be resized in special ways like accidentals and mid-measure clefts and stuff like that. There's sort of another um, functionality for some, certain things to, um, to, to scale in certain ways. So I just want to cover that so we have all of our bases covered. All right. So yeah, that's it. Um, my name is Jason. Once again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you soon on the next video.